Hi everyone and welcome back to another one of our instructional build videos. On today's build video we're going to show you how to assemble your C-beam shield to your double wide gantry actuator. So as you can see here this is a really nice modification. The C-beam shield is really easy to install as well. And I also wanted to show an example of the C-beam gantry with the C-beam shield installed. Which is going to be the same assembly for both. The only difference is going to be how many riser plates you use for this system. It's going to be two for the C-beam gantry plate and four for our double wide gantry plate. But everything else in the assembly you can follow along for both designs. And it's just a really cool system. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, for this assembly we're going to need to gather these parts. Our double wide gantry plate, four riser plates, 20 12 millimeter screws, our C-beam shield, and of course our actuator. So to get started, we're going to go ahead and mount our riser plates. So each one of these riser plates is going to mount to our double wide gantry plate, just like so. You'll see that the holes align to the double wide gantry plate. So we're simply going to insert the 12 millimeter screws and mount that into place. And we're going to complete the same process for our additional three sides. So let's go ahead and assemble that. So now that we have those mounted into place, we're then going to take our 250 millimeter C-beam shield, place it in the middle, and mount it to each one of these holes on our C-beam end mount. So once again, we're using 12 millimeter screws. So let's go ahead and mount that into place. From there, we'll take our double wide gantry plate and stack it on top. From there, we're going to assemble our screws to each one of these holes on our double wide gantry plate. So just follow suit with what I do. Each 12 millimeter screw will insert and mount to the riser plate. So once that's completed, your assembly is modified onto your actuator. As you can see, this is a really simple modification, but a really effective one as well. This will keep debris out of your C-channel, which essentially could affect your drive system. This is a really nice application to apply to any of your builds. So thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that like button, and we'll see you on future builds.